insects could possibly pollinate this flower. Because this is 14 inches long. There's the, the, the nectars at the bottom. Um, now Charles Darwin looked at it and he said, ah, it must be a beetle. And the beetle flies around, it lands there, it crawls all the way down to this hollow stem, immerses itself in the nectar, comes back out, the pollen sticks to it and away it flies. And that's a pretty good hypothesis to be fair, he's pretty close. He's wrong, but he's close. <laughs> And Charles Darwin said, well, you know, it's a good, I'll have a go. But Alfred Russell Wallace disagreed. And Wallace said, I think it is a moth. A moth with a 14-inch proboscis. Now, at the time, that was derided, and everyone says, that's ridiculous. There can be no creature on this planet with a 14-inch tongue. Well, after both men died, they discovered this. Now, this is a moth with a 14-inch proboscis. Now, these are mutually exclusive. They cannot exist without each other. This is the only moth that can pollinate this flower. So, irrespective of your beliefs, whatever your beliefs in life are, to me, this is amazing. So, every single day of my life, I find something amazing in the natural world. I'm not really interested in where it came from or how it got here. I'm more interested in what, what it actually tells me. Now this is really why I, I am so fascinated by the natural world. The second question is do I get despondent? Well, yes.